Hello students, welcome to this YouTube channel. In this particular video, I will show you the ways that you have to follow in this particular new course. Now, from your school level, you are entering into the college level and you will face a new pattern of course structure as it is CBCS that is called the Choice Based Credit System and it is a particular form of semester that you are going for and most of you that means most of the students who are watching this particular lecture video you will or you have opted for the English honors but before entering this particular subject before entering to the the courses in detail I must make you knowledgeable about the course structure what are the papers that you will face in semester one and ultimately what you should follow First of all, let us think about the course structure in detail. You see that it is a uh, University of Kulyani and you are opting for BA English Honours and it is your semester one. So in this particular slide, I have shown what is the particular course pattern for semester one. As you can see, there are uh, the code names for each of the papers. The first one, it is called the Honours Paper. The second one, it is called the GE paper. It is actually considered as general elective. And the third one that is considered as AECC. It is actually, it is the, the compulsory section that you have to follow. So in your semester one, you will find that there are two core course papers. Actually, these are coming from your honors course. One GE paper, it is the GE one subject one. Actually, you have to opt for two different subjects. And one particular subject you have to complete in, in uh, semester one and semester two. And the second subject will be completed by semester three and semester four. And then there is the compulsory paper that is the AECC paper. What happens, you know, that in this first semester, you have to opt for total 20 credit. Now, the credit, this particular section is, is obviously something problematic. Uh, later, you will identify what does it actually mean you will find that the whole choice based credit system ultimately the CBCA structure it consists of multiple credits what if the student one particular student he completes all the credits then ultimately he will be awarded or she will be awarded with the degree of bachelor or bachelor or honors degree or anything else now what happens you know that uh, the total credits that means in in the core course paper that is the honors paper as you can see here there are uh, two papers one is cc1 and the second one is cc2 now you will find that each paper consists of six credit okay actually now you can identify that uh, in in a particular week you will get six classes okay for one particular paper so ultimately the total credit number is 20 and it has been divided into major sections as you can see here uh, as i pointed out here here 6 into 2 it actually indicates the core course paper then the 6 it is actually indicating the general elective section and the 2 credit it is considered as the environmental science okay now what happens you know that the our primary concern is english honors so therefore i have made a particular discussion i have made a particular list for the regarding the marks and the detailed questions and non detailed questions the detailed text and non detailed text and so and so so you, you find that uh, for the these two papers, as you can see, and as well as the in G1 paper, suppose uh, a student who has uh, taken, uh, say, English honors, and he has taken, say, Bengali as the GE paper, the first GE paper. So ultimately what happens, you know, each of these three papers, you will find it consists of 75 marks. Now what happens, you know, that these 75 marks have been divided into two major sections. The first one is 60. Actually, this is the, the final examination that you have to uh, give for. And the second section is 15. It is the internal assessment. And under this particular internal assessment, there is another particular kind of a division. Uh, 10, it comprises of the, the 10 marks. It, it will be uh, made for the internal examination. And 5 for each paper, you will find it is for uh, the attendance section. Now, in this, in this particular COVID scenario, as you know, that how the... Uh, the, the uh, you know attendance sections will be covered it will be covered by the through the online classes now what I'm trying to suggest here so you will find that each of the papers uh, these are these are comprised of 75 marks and these are divided into two major sections 60 marks 
uh, this particular 60 marks that you have to sit for the final examination you have to answer them and then the 15 is the internal section again 10 plus 5 that I mentioned just now now so you have two and one paper there are, there are three papers and three into 75 so that is a particular section and now when you are thinking about the environmental science section that is the ACC section you will find it comprises of 50 marks and again the 40 marks for final examination and 10 marks for internal that means again 5 plus 5 5 for attendance and 5 for the uh, the internal exam that will be conducted by the college authority so ultimately you will find that uh, if we try to focus mostly on the english honors then you will find that there are two major sections of each of the syllabus or each of the syllabus of the, each paper these are comprises or these are considered as the detailed text and non detailed text obviously i will discuss that in my future lectures that that will, uh, that will obviously say something about the each of the papers and what are the actual takes that are very needed for you so you see that the detailed text means that means you have to go through lines obviously okay primarily think one particular thing in, in your mind uh, consider one thing in your mind that ultimately when you have chosen a particular subject for honors paper you must go through all the texts carefully okay because it will give you the particular kind of confidence that will help to an answer the uh, questions properly. Now, when it is the detailed texts, you will find that uh, the, each of the papers will be divided into detailed and non-detailed sections. And what I'm trying to suggest here that when it is the matter with the detailed texts, that means the questions will come from uh, these detailed texts. You know, question comprises of two marks and five marks, you see. So ultimately what happens you know that you will be given 15 questions 15 or 16 questions and you have to answer any 10 each question will comprise of two marks that means 20 marks as answers so these are considered as objective questions to some extent okay uh, in your up to 80s you have uh, you have found uh, that the objective questions uh, they carry one mark but here you will get two marks as question there is no one mark option ultimately after the 2 into 10 segment you will find there are uh, the four questions that you have to answer each will of uh, will be of five marks okay so you will be given eight questions in total and out of eight you have to answer any five uh, answer any four and uh, each each question will comprise of five marks so five into four equals to 20. so you will find that out of 60 marks uh, this 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 particular section that is the 40 marks this will come from the detailed texts and there are also the non-detailed sections. So you will find that no two marks as question or five marks as question will come from that non-detailed section. For that very non-detailed section, you will find that you will be given four questions and out of the four questions, you have to answer any two and each question will comprise of 10 marks. That means 10 into two equals to 20. So now you will find that the 60 marks as score paper, uh, it will be divided into three sections, two, that is 20 plus 20 plus 20 the first 20 is 2 into 10 that i have shown here and then it is 4 into 5 that means four questions five marks each and then the non-detail section then two questions you have to answer and 10 marks each so this is the actual number division that will be there okay and uh, for these 60 marks you see that you will get two hour and 30 minutes for for the full paper okay and fundamentally what happens you know as you were the newcomer so i must say here that uh, generally uh, there is no particular possibility of uh, say home center okay up to this up to this time i don't know uh, in the co post covid scenario what will happen next okay so that means there will be the external examination you have to move to any other college and there the seat arrangements will be given you see so ultimately that is the fundamental thing uh, this particular structure will also be applicable for the g paper also you see obviously it will be a different subject but you have to face the same thing you have uh, noted the the structure that i have mentioned here and in my next section or in my ne next lecture i will discuss directly on the uh, the particular syllabus and book list for english honors specifically for university of kolan stay attached hope it will help you thank you